Yes. Diamonds on my neck. I like boarding jets. I like more than sex. But nothing in this world that I like more than checks. Money. All I really want to see is the money. I don't really need a D, I need the money. All a bad bitch need is the money. I got pants in the coop. Bussin' out the roof. I got pants in the coop. Touch me, I'll shoot. Alright. What's up, everybody? I look so crazy right now. Don't mind my skin. It's like very, very dry right now. But like, I'm not going to moisturize everything. I should have had weed to wash my face after I did my hair, but I wasn't thinking. So, this is going to be like my first vlog. I'm so excited. Um... I don't know how, well, right now, I wash my hair with it right now. I'm deep conditioning it with kind of like a hot oil treatment as well. I've been letting this sit for, I don't know, maybe like an hour or some change. I've just been chilling, watching videos. But, you know, after I wash this out, I'm going to moisturize my face. Because down here is dry. Because the products I be using, I be trying to dry out my skin. Because I have really, really oily skin. So the stuff I been using, I be trying on like purposely dry out my skin. So that basically, you know, my dark marks can, you know, peel off. And it has been working a little like this one right here. This was like a big pimp. It was kind of like too cystic acne um things here that form. I extracted them even though I shouldn't have. I left this like big acne scar. So this is probably going to peel off in a couple days. So that's why my skin is going all crazy. But, you know. I guess it's just going to be like a Christmas Eve. Leading up to my birthday type of vlog. Tomorrow will be Christmas Eve. So. Yeah, right now I'm just chilling. You know, my foot is, like, just messed up. So, it's, like, <sighs> yeah, it's like, I can't even go to work and stuff. This joint is just crazy. I got to go to the doctors and stuff again. But for now, they just told me to rest. So, that's what I've been doing. But, yeah, I'm about to wash this conditioner out. I was going to try to wait because I made my wig. I was going to wait till like, my birthday. But I took my braids out. And it's, like, no point in me trying to blow dry and straighten my hair if I'm going to be putting that on. So, I might just put that on today for New Year's to be cool. But, yes. So, yeah. I may film that, like, a part of the vlog or whatever. But. Stay soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. Don't mind my setup because, like, I don't even know I don't even know where to put it. So, we're going to be in front of the door today. So, I got my braids. They all fuzzy and frizzy because I'm not going to be sitting here taking my time doing some neat braids because I'm just not. If I don't got time for that, I just don't. I don't. But I got it all ordered, whatever, is ready back. Now, what I'm about to do is take some gorilla snot I lay my edges back tie them down so that i could get ready to try this cap method mind you this is like my first time doing this whole like process by myself so we're gonna see how this go gonna see and it's like i'm looking in here so this is like my mirror because I don't have a mirror in front of me so you know Stringy and everything. 
literally will make you think this is looking but it's not really looks it feels like so now I'm just brushing it back now when you already do your braids you can just braid your edges back but again I was just trying to hurry up and braid because I do my braids when my hair is wet because it's just easier for me to hurry up and get it done than when they are dry so now I'm gonna take this little strip strip thing here and tie it I'm gonna lay it down let it dry and then we're gonna put the cap on mold it and all that but i'll be back for that okay it's dried so now i'm gonna try i just have this cap for my local beauty supply and you know i'm kind of nervous because it's like this is really my mirror and like this is my first time doing it so i'm just kind of nervous but we're just going put this on Poke the joint. I seen Grandma Zante do this. Some other girl that I watch that do like frontals and stuff all the time. Then this other girl, what's her name? Hypnotic or something like that on YouTube. So, ah, uh, these are like brother regular scissors. I have my shears, but they're kind of like dull so i don't really want to use these oh my gosh this is so like scary so basically these scissors is not even working you just let me just use these and stop playing so you just cut a little hole and they say don't make it too big but you just get your ear through i got some big ears so just do that and they says it's just gonna you know help keep everything laid down good <laughs> that side was just like way easier bam then Stuff is falling. This setup is crazy, but listen, we gonna do what we gotta do. I wanna take look at my edges when I put this cap on. This always happen. But anyway, I'm just gonna take this black little mini got to be glued. I think should I take my puppet pump it up spritz? I kinda wanna do both. I'm gonna do both. Hold up. I wanna do both. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spray it right here. blow dry this i look so crazy lord jesus but i'm looking in this mirror because i can't see oh. And now I'm gonna take some other got to be glue just to make sure. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
It's dry. I don't know. I may not be able to finish this little process on here because I really don't want to mess this up again. You know, this is clear and all, but I'm scared with scissors like close to my face like this. I really am. So I just want to make sure that I do this right because I am like, I'm just going to have to get close up because I'm like so nervous and then plus these scissors are dull except for like back here because i used it to like cut thread and stuff so it made my scissors dull and then how like my hair is slipping out and i don't want to cut it nothing because i need to get here but my baby hair is gonna slid all out on that part ow I cut myself. See, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't know. Yo, I gotta be back. I'm sorry. Okay, excuse me for the background. But I'm gonna be using my face powder shade and my contour powder shade just to see which one I feel like could be better. And I'm just gonna put that right here. You could put this on the lace, which I probably be a little smarter but whatever I think I'm gonna put this on a lace next time because I remember the last time it was just like makeup all in scalp and stuff like when I took the cap off and I was like no wonder why this crap was itching like that so I'm just taking the one I use as a contour shade because I just feel like it's looking better so since this is the front of wig I'm gonna just go a little back with the powder you probably don't need to go that far back you know. You dig. I'm gonna just take a little bit of this face color and just print a little of it on top and I'll be like, you know. And so we just go see how this looks because sometimes I'll be feeling like the new cap is unnecessary we just put it on your skin and call it a day but i guess we want to protect your edges and all of that so now what i'm about to do is i'm gonna be using a ghost bond ghost bond glue i'm about to try to put that on and put the wig on then you know yes i don't know how ghost bond works or if you're supposed to put a certain amount of layers but i'm gonna look because here's the instructions right here 
today's time is it say instructions are available at poetlabs.com whoa but i guess i'll just put on a couple layers i don't know if this is the one where people like you have to put on like eight or something layers or like that but i got this from i know they sell it at walmart my local beauty club the local beauty supply store had it so i'm just gonna first almost forgot i'm gonna clean i'm gonna clean my perimeter with some alcohol this is 91 per skin and i'm just gonna use the tissue and i'm just gonna clean the perimeter you know this will probably help us stick much better i will say do this as well if you are using got to be or anything just get the perimeter and may stick more so that it's nice and clench bam look at all that makeup that got on there all right so i'm just going to use this little card to apply it i do have a popsicle stick but it's you know somewhere right now and i don't got time to be going to dig through to get it so before i just was using like the got to be glue glue on um my other big this is kind of like difficult for me especially when cutting this like new cat because i have like a nigga hairline my hairline is literally like a shape up it's across it go like this and go like that and then it come down literally so it's like it's kind of i don't know like it's... Yeah. so i know people do like that side spray so it'll be quick at a time usually i just like to try to do the whole thing at a time but i'm just gonna put this first layer to let it dry just so i can just go on this website real quick and look up these instructions just to see how many layers or whatever because i don't know what it is but that same one i'm gonna put kind of not a lot, but extra on the side back because I know that like the most difficult areas to stick down for me like with my last one. So I'm gonna go with this one. So I cut the lace on the little mannequin I had it on. I think I'm gonna put some uh powder on the lace as well. So it's too much going on. I don't kinda where to set this. So um the website said four layers so that's what i did i blow dry in between the three layers this fourth layer i just um i'm letting it basically air dry so i'm trying to hurry because i was taking my time you know trying to cut the lace So on this one, I'm just using the like my face powder on this one since I did most of the cap with the contour shade. Just dusting this on here. Real quick, I'm trying to, you know. Because I did the watercolor method and it did, um, so this is what I'm doing right now, but it did like kind of tint the lace I feel like a little to where it was like blue. Some of it did get dyed, but most of this is still sticky. I 
right. The moment of truth. I feel like I am gonna have to cut some of the sides off stuff. This is like nervous because I wanna make sure it's in the middle and stuff, even on both sides. So I had this cut back, but from doing that, it kind of got messed up from putting powder on the lace. So I'm going to try to clip that hair back. Okay, so... I'm going to just pull it down just to make sure it's even. Okay, I feel like it's even. So I'm going to just start in the middle. This glue ain't dry. It's like white. So I'm just going to move that down a little. I don't really know what the Taking the edge comb. I should use a rat tail. So I'm taking my rat tail comb to like. What the heck? Hold this down. It's like going over my ear. That's why I'm like, I don't know what to stick down. And it's, you know, it is very hard to look and do this in a phone camera. I might have to. I'm trying to calm back so, you know. This joint sticks as soon as you put it down. Cause some of like a my little it's a little bit of like my edges. I'm trying to make sure it's like I got put a little glue there. But just want to know, I guess whatever that white shit was, it's like, I don't know what the fuck that is. I might gotta brush it out. Hair might cover it though. I tried to cut this in a jig, a jagged pattern as much as I could. So, hold up, I need to add a little more. I'm 
just by just a little bit, you guys. Look, it's like pulling me. How much was this? Use. Of course, I'm gonna have to go head back up clean with some more alcohol. I'm trying to just get that part. I'm trying to make sure, you know, make sure you comb so like the edges aren't sticking. the lace. I need to add some glue right there too. We get in here. Oh. We get in there, guys. Okay, so I'll be back when the I'll dog is stacked. Oopsie little. Dry. Okay, so it was difficult, y'all, because since I'm standing, I don't have like no set with no mirror. I had to go in the bathroom and fix it because, y'all, for anybody that's a beginner, please let the glue dry. I don't care whether to let it dry to it's clear or not dry, but let it get tacky to where it's clear. Because what had happened was. It was like the cap, the edges of the cap was like balling up because the glue wasn't all the way dry. Remember when it was like white? It wasn't all the way clear. Like some of it was clear, some of it wasn't. So I had to like clean parts of it off. Like right here was fine. I don't think part of the cap was like here. So honestly, you can do this without a cap. I might try it that way next time. But it's like you can still see some of it on this side. But I usually wear like a side part if I gotta fix that with a hot comb but if I do wear a middle part or whatever you can't see it but I like cleaned it up as best as I could but I feel like I did a good job for my first time I'm so excited I gotta because you know I ain't cut that excess cap off so I'm just gonna tuck it in there suck it in I cut the ear tabs as good as I could. It dish is it. Blue is my color. I'm just like, let me see, I might need to turn. Oh boy. I feel like that's too bright. All right, because it's like dark outside, so I had to turn my light down a little bit because I feel like it was way too bright. But this is the end, I guess, of vlog number one. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see a better video with me trying this again without the cat method or if you just want to see a better video because i don't know what's going to be in this video i don't know what's not if you just want to see a better video of it this you could like comment i mean comment my social media is going to be in the description i'm just going to try to put this down you won't be able because i'm short but um i have in and if you also want me to do a review on this hair i have i will um but yeah i have well no i'll do that in another video but i'm out y'all ooh and i make the cookie cause it's good form and when they eat the cookie he got good form x <laughs>
thanks for tuning or whatever.